everybody, Mr. Nolaxium here. Um, my color is still kind of messed up. Background's really purple. Have you ever noticed that? My house isn't purple. Uh, it's really cold here. Um, anyway, we're here with part five of Game of Thrones. Yeah, I think five's right. Burp. I hope you like her. She's gonna tattle that narc. Sarah's a narc. She's gonna screw us all over. She's gonna tattle to Cersei. Cersei, however you say it, I don't know. Queen's twin cest. That doesn't sound good. There goes the horse. Seven elves. Mm-hmm. All seven of them. I thought it was seven heavens, but I guess there's seven hells too. Seven hells bells. Oh great, they're torturing the guy. Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Buffalo Bill style. Oh great. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? Okay. Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few yeah. secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. Oh, great. He does now. How much further is it okay. to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Ah, oh, great. What was that? It wasn't Hello? good, that's what it was. Listen. He looks... There. Oh, great. Speed. Hear that? Paper tree. I know I heard something. I'm gonna stay. Don't wanna run when they're right there. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Okay. It's way too many of them for me to take. And I don't think I have a weapon. I don't know why, but I don't have a weapon. I should have all sorts of weapons. Is there a spear through him? Oh no. Good thing I grabbed all those medical supplies. Oh, he's probably dead. Oh yeah, he's... That's great. Oh great, that's... That's what they do. Just great. Lord Let's... Ethan. Yeah. As I was saying, you are young. Okay. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Well, there's gonna have to wait and see. But Three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Mm-hmm. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, great again. who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. Yeah. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. Hey. Good guy, Gregor. Um, he was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be I like him. Be like that, like my father. Yeah. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years if not decades to earn. Mm -hmm. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. I hope I do a good job. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted yeah. above all others. 
the Lord Sentinel. And I have to choose him now. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Okay. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. What's that about? Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Great. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. He stole. Lord Ethan. Why did you kick him? Me. Why did you kick this man? Yeah. This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house mean? is doomed. We all fucking know it. That's Quiet, not cool. Thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Great. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. What does that mean? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family to feed. Mm -hmm. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Oh, great. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. Mm -hmm. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Yeah. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Hey. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Great. Give us justice. I need to make like a speech. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent mm. man. Will be an injustice, my lord. That's not true. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I've got to send him to the wall. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! Well... It's... Better than... Anything else. That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet yeah. our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Was I right? <laughs> Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. Mm -hmm. Only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. Oh, great. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone yeah. you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Mm -hmm. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you, Who do you choose? think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. Yeah. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Okay. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Now I gotta choose. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this mm -hmm. Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the I'll right make choice. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay. I don't like the way they're looking at me. They want my bracer. But I don't just give my bracer out to anybody. Um. 
Let's look at the shield, I guess. It's a nice shield. Hey, Ryan. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All mm -hmm. good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. No. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? Yeah. You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I'll make sure. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Yeah. Was he... Our enemy, a bad man. Everyone uh, keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. Okay. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men yeah. killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. Well, I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have splinters. a real sword when I do. Oh, he's gonna die, I know it. I hate that. I like him. I like Ryan. Hooray outside. Okay. Malcolm. Who's Malcolm? Is he in the middle? Ethan. Mm -hmm. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Yes, you should say Lord Ethan. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. No, it's not. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope okay. to be off tomorrow. On first light. Uncle, why are you why packing? Are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Yeah, he's leaving us. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Oh. She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. Mm, she should have I said told her my to place me. is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Yeah. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. Okay. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. Yeah. I know you will. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Yeah, I But my mother's hope fears so. are not the only ones I face. My yeah. people are scared as well. It's gonna be bad. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. Yeah. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. I kind of think so. He'd be a fine choice. And oh. I trust him. Why Sir Royland? Yeah, why her? We are at war. Him. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to I negotiate. I don't think... Not with the likes of yeah. Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I'll... Talk to you. What are you mad about? What's wrong, sister? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. That's Did good. She? I knew we could rely on Mira. Mm -hmm. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully, Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. Yeah. But right now, I'm more concerned about you. Why's that? I saw what you did to that man. Yeah. I didn't cut I promised you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't what? afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows How what did I change? Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm okay. the Lord. It's my responsibility. Yeah. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? You can't just let them walk all over me. Ethan, please. 
Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. Yeah, that's what I'm trying you to do. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asha or Roderick ever were. Mm -hmm. I know it. I only wish you did too. Well, you just berated you me for being decisive. Advice. Thank you. Uh, I can't talk to you again. Our provisions are mm -hmm. rather low, my lord. It's not good. I made the count again, just to be sure. Um, Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. That's Seems good. Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. Yeah. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. Great. But there are steps we can take. Like. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done mm -hmm. it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No. Yeah. There must be something else we can do. Yeah. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps okay. they can do more. My lord. Let's talk to him. Duncan. Yes, my lord. Again. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Yeah, very Perhaps hard. I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Um, well, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm trying to decide if you're the rock or you're the hard place. I... That's As just... Lord, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can mm. share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Let's change the subject. Actually, I wanted to ask. Why did you send Garrett away? Yeah. I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. No. I only hope to give you an advantage. I understand. And you're forgiven. Yeah, you're Thank forgiven. You. <laughs> Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. Yeah. I'm at your service, my lord. I know what he thinks. Um, let's look at Malcolm. Turkey leg, you caught me. I'm guilty. That was fun. Let's talk to Roland. Lord up. Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know Wrong. Was an old sword. A word? Of course, my lord. I don't know if I trust him, though. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. How are our defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along mm -hmm. the path. Up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. Okay. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank yeah. you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, Great. I suspect there'll be more to come. Let's talk to him. Yes, again. my lord. I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. Mm -hmm. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. Great. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. Yeah. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. 
I would never do that to you. But I don't know. Pardon me saying so. I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. He is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentimental. He likes mm. to talk. But now's the time for action. So, I think I'm going with when Roland. will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight. At the yep. council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I'm just gonna do it. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord, but are you sure? Why not and it rely? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Yes. Then I accept. But you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. I know. Right. I'll tell Maester or Tengrin to do it at once. I just, I don't think Mr. S Mr. Man here would Slash and parry. do it Slash right. And parry again. Let's enter the tower. I need to talk to Mother. What are you doing things behind my back for Mom? What you doing that for? You making me look like a fool. Oh. Well, what was... I thought my mom would be up there. In the tower. Talk to my mother. Do it like you mean it. Let's talk. I guess. Maester? Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yeah. What's what your perspective, though? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. Oh. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. Perhaps you should you get your eyes checked. It is our greatest asset, my lord. Mm -hmm. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could they ransom won't. ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the lives Aww. of those you love. Ransom or a robbery. We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from yeah. coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. No, not if you're just shooting yourself in the foot. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Great. Blup blup, let's go take to the small council. 